Hey, yo, what up, fam, my yang? Welcome back to the show, Ski Bay. So check this out. Apparently, there was some motherfucking shitbag Republicans who fucking wanted to kidnap a beautiful fucking lady who's a principal over here at one of our schools in uh, AZ. Here's the thing, man. You know me, baby. I got to say something about that. Throwing in the kidnapping. Tie up a beautiful fucking Latina and AZ. Hmm. Oh, good. 420 going to have to say something about that place. So let's check out the fucking story and see what's going on. One of them had these military grade zip ties in his hand. And they were telling me that they were going to arrest me. These retarded A really disturbing story you. tonight. Okay. An elementary school principal in southern Arizona threatened with citizen's arrest by three men in her own office. And as you heard her there, mm. one of those men even dangling so zip ties from his hands. It's a terrifying snapshot of the threats that school leaders nationwide have faced during this pandemic. Team Charles Bram Resnick spoke with the principal from the Tucson area just moments ago. And Bram, understandably, she is still really shaken up by this. Mm. That's right, Mark. One of the men shot Instagram video of their confrontation the Thursday Republican over COVID shot. protocols. Instagram it was happening videos, while kids yeah. were One in class at Bales Mesquite Instagram Elementary video, School. Okay. You can see <laughs> Principal Diane Vargo was poised even as they La threatened her. Vargo, But today, uh... she was moved to tears when I asked her about those zip ties. I, I keep replaying it in my uh, head. Principal Diane Republican. Vargo knows parents oh, are wound up God. over COVID guidelines at school, but this was different. The three men in my office was Republicans. very threatening. 40-year-old Rishi Rambaran of Tucson marched into her office with his son. I didn't come here to challenge you. I came here to Coffee. tell you Dick that this is not going to happen. He demanded an end to a COVID quarantine on the boy imposed by Pima County. We're not going to have this player. in mail. Listen to his fucking being their daddy. And if you okay. try to keep doing this, you're going to have a big problem. Oh, Fargo remained big poised when two other men walked fucking in, one shooting pages, Instagram right? video. And one of them had these military-grade zip ties in his hand. Ooh, and they were telling me pretty. that they okay. were going to arrest me and my assistant. Mm. And I was scared. <laughs> when you saw those zip ties, what were you thinking? You fucking think that it's Tucson right. police were called. Rambaran arrested for trespassing and released. Vargo and Literally her assistant plan to seek restraining orders against all three men. It, times are hard with what we're dealing with right now. All of us. It's challenging. And I'm, I'm, I want to work with our parents, but... Okay, please. Let me uh, pause the video quick and say something on there. <clears throat> now, just think about me, baby. I've been... Uh, <clears throat> Busy fucking growing weed, doing my fucking thing. <coughs> so I haven't seen a fucking Republican buck in the fucking wild for a minute. Like. Now let me be honest with you guys real quick, okay? Let me let me be real quick. The last time I seen a fucking Republican male buck in the fucking wild dog is when I was uh truck driving. Cause I used to deliver a lot of liquor and wine, okay? Now it is easy. A lot of these rich motherfuckers from Scottsdale and all over the world like to come and fucking do the little golf thing in fucking Scottsdale, right? So I was over there delivering some liquor and wine, Don Perignon, Cristal, all that good shit that they like to put in their fucking coolers and shit, huh? So I head down there and I see this fucking baby in there riding his golf cart. And that's hot as shit in AZ, baby. So this dude gets up from his fucking golf cart, dog. Sweaty fucking ass, dog. Like 110 outside, right? And this 6'1", all-American fucking Republican buck, dude. With, like, a shirt. Like, almost look like a tank top and shit. He had on, like, the tightest fucking American flag booty shorts I ever seen in my motherfucking life. Just hairy-ass fucking Republican conservative trees hanging out the fucking bottom, player. Like, for real. So this all-American buck was fucking... Jesus Christ, just hanging all because it was hot that day. This was, I guess is why he was dressed like that. And he had like on these little tiny boots. They kind of look like girl boots. 
And it was crazy that these boots had like an extra fucking heel. You know what I mean? Like usually cowgirl boots are like, you know what, two inches and shit. This motherfucker had like a six inch heel in the back, play. Okay, so this all American Republican bug full. Was standing right next to his billionaire daddy's golf cart, right? And when the billionaire gets up, this fucking all American book right here, dog, starts smelling the seed of the fucking of the fucking billionaire's goddamn fucking uh, seed, dog. Right? It started sniffing that motherfucker, dog, like that motherfucker from Jeepers Creepers, play dog. Sniffing all that shit, dog, right? And I swear, I swear to God, dog, this motherfucker puts his little boo on the motherfucking golf cart, dog, and sticks his hand underneath his shorts. And starts pulling on this fucking wee-wee dog, like, right there in the fucking golf cart, dog. Right? Everybody can see this guy, right? So he's sitting there pulling on his fucking wee-wees, right? And then the fucking thing there slapped him on the fucking ass and said, Who are you doing in my fucking golf cart? And then the fucking conservative looks at the fucking bed there, dog, and goes, I'm just trying to smell all those wonderful corporate tax days we gave to you, daddy. Those are not lies. Every time I know you got your cadre, it makes my dick hard. And then I swear to God, dude, this fucking big ass dog just starts fucking, like, he pulls out his phone and he goes, all right, man, I'm gonna tell you every all the money I've fucking been saving since you gave me the fucking tax breaks, dog, right? And then he starts naming off, all right, I just saved $2,000. I just saved $5,000. And I shit you not, dog. This fucking custodian started pulling on this fucking wang and his fucking balls. Play. He was excited, player. And then the custodian did something crazy, player. The motherfucker puts two fucking knuckles, like two fucking fingers up in his fucking ass, boy. And then the motherfucking billionaire just starts calling out even more money that he saved from the court, court, court tax cuts, player. And then he starts fucking going faster in the fucking anus, boy. Like, I was like, what the fuck, dude? It was like fucking 12 in the afternoon, player. Hot as shit. Sun fucking just beaming down. This fool sweating his ass off. Just fucking going out and in the fucking chase, bro. And I shit you not, uh, this dude puts his whole fucking... Fist in that motherfucking ass, bro. Just a whole fucking fist in that ass. And then this dude just puts all his conservative juice all over his billionaire's golf cart. Right? And I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Fool. The billionaire was fucking peaceful. He started kicking the shit out of the conservatives. Pow, pow, pow. Ooh, I'm sorry, Corbett Daddy. I'm sorry. He started kicking shit out. Pow, pow, pow. And he grabs him by the fucking collar, cause the dog, cause the fucking conservative is wearing like this collar, right? The dog collar starts grabbing him and says, You better clean that guy that shit up right now off my fucking golf cart, motherfucker. Absolutely. And he puts his fucking foot in the back of the conservative's head. And then the conservative starts cleaning up all the white fucking love juice he left on his bed in his golf cart with his fucking mouth. Uh. He's sitting there bending over with his fucking cheeks out. Uh. And he was licking all the trim, and he was fucking licking the rims. And then when he got to the tires, he was like, <laughs> Corporate Daddy, <laughs> this white stuff on the rubber tastes kind of funny. <laughs> Those are not us. And then the fucking, the fucking being that I was like, Hurry your ass up. And he fucking put the whole fist in the fucking conservative's ass. And he was, Ooh. Corby Daddy, come here, making me sweater. I can't wait to give you more tax break in 2024. Oh, <laughs> and then the fucking billionaire pulls out his fucking handful. And dude, I know, I don't know if you guys have seen this for with your own fucking eyes are. But dude, like the anus, the inside of a fucking dude. Like, the inside of an ass fool just, just came out, fool. It looked like a used fucking sock player. Like, I never seen a fucking ass, like, the inside of an ass just is fucking hanging like a motherfucker, like a fucking sock player. So this motherfucker was just walking around with his fucking ass hanging out, play like loose, like a goose, like a motherfucker, though. But yeah, man, that's the very fucking last time I fucking seen a conservative buck male in a fucking wild player. But yeah, I thought I'd just share that uh, story with you guys. But yeah, uh... If you are a principal or a teacher or a scientist, you know, smart, intelligent individuals that Republicans fucking hate, if these fools threaten you or go to your office with some zip ties, shoot them in the goddamn face, okay? We out, Z yeah, out here in AZ. This is the Wild West, baby. It's legal to shoot these motherfuckers in the face if they threatening you like that, play If they go to your office, fucking take off the shoddy, blow the fucking brains out and say, look, I just killed a fucking corporate zombie. GG's. Next.